So, the standing drill, or the standing throw in discus. First thing you want to do is to get the athlete to stand both feet together, take a relatively large step out. Again, very similar to the shot put. Their front heel, or in this case if they're a right-handed thrower, their right heel should be in a line, if you draw a line from their right heel, to their left toe. This allows, when they do release the discus and the throw, for the hips to come through and the power to be generated. So you want to take the discus back as far round as you can and activate through the hips first and the arms come through second. So the run across drill. This teaches the athlete just the first parts of how a full rotation feels when they start to introduce it into their discus throw. So the idea is that you lean forward over that left foot, again as a right-handed thrower, and there you run across the circle the key is as well is to ensure that when you rotate through that right foot, you do not block with your left. And what I mean by that is that left foot is not placed in front of the right. It should be, as you did on the standing throw, across to one side, allowing the hips to come through and the power in that throw. So the full turn in discus, a lot more complicated than it looks. The setup is standing with a relatively wide stance. The key with discus is the length and the rotation. You always want to ensure that the right hand, if you're a right-handed thrower, is staying back. You feel that you've got this full corkscrew feeling through the body. So you set yourself up and then from there, you take the discus back. You try and keep the discus back, keeping the left hand in front of you. From there then, you take the weight over to your left foot, rotate, active right leg, and again, trying not to block. The biggest common mistakes in discus throw is allowing the left hand to throw you round and open your shoulder position up so you're never in that power standing position. Remember with the power standing position, you want to ensure that the discus is all the way back around you while you're still most of your weight over your right leg and then the activation through that right toe, knee, hip comes through first and then the hand comes through last with this full big rotation and the key is to finish off the throw. So as we look at this throw in slow-mo, as the athlete takes the discus back, they're looking along their extended left hand. This is key. You always want to be looking along that left hand. That stops the shoulders opening up and keeps you in that rotated position. So from there, as the athlete then starts the initial turn, they drive off and round off that left foot. The key now is to drive across the circle with that right foot ideally landing roughly in the centre line of the discus throw. Here the athlete maybe hasn't quite got enough across. From there then, the key is to get that left foot down and round into that power position while still staying closed off with the hand back as far as you can. Then, with the power coming through from the hip, the throw can then finish the throw and extend off. The idea of the towel drill in discus is to teach the athlete how to feel their foot position as they rotate. The towel gives them some resistance to work against, but the key is to finish in that strong power position once they finish the rotation. So they start by standing, taking the towel back, full rotation, and then that rotation along the line, finishing, ideally, how they started.